Xanthi has other things to talk about, so we're going to oh shut up. Oh my god, if I can, <laughs> yes, if I can have uh, the stage for just uh, three minutes. Okay, <clears throat> some gaming news. Okay, so Dragon Age is coming October 31st, which is a perfect time right on Halloween. And by Dragon Age, the Dragon Age, the Veil Guard. So we had the first one, Dragon Age 1, it was uh, released in 2009. Then we had Tra uh, Dragon Age 2 in 2011. It was like, meh, not very good. Then we had Dragon Age Inquisition in 2014, which was great. Ten years later, we have Dragon Age the Veil Guard, which means I need to read again on the lore as I don't remember much. I remember Alistair, one of the lead characters in my romance choice back then in 2009. Then Morrigan, the hot mate, and Solas, which I remember him being kind of a dick, but not sure what has happened. So I need to revisit the lore to see if he indeed is a real villain or just a tragic and misunderstood character. Additionally, I want to say one thing, which I also tweeted about it. I love Dragon Age, okay? I loved it back then, all three of them, even the mediocre second one. So that would made me extremely excited about this one now, which I am, but I'm not, because there is something stealing my excitement, and that is time. I remember very well the emotions and the feelings I had and the joy of the gameplay, and I also remember very, very well the hours I put into these games. I honestly immersed into it, which makes me realize that I do not have the same time luxury nowadays, so that instantly strips away a big part of my excitement. But alas, I will just have to wait and see and lose some sleep. And since it's Bioware, it's going to be good. And I don't even want to think what will happen if a new Mass Effect comes out, which they are working on a new Mass Effect. So yes, that is what I wanted to say.